Hello everyone, and welcome to a video on a mall that believes in itself more than any consumer I've ever seen does. I'm talking about the Lake Forest Mall in Gaithersburg, Maryland. The mall's original anchors were J.C. Penney, Sears, Woodward and & Lothrop, and Hex, opening in 1978. It began as a Talman Center Mall, similar to Marley Station in Glen Burnie, Maryland. Unlike Marley, however, Lake Forest doesn't have much of a chance to make a turnaround. They're currently owned and managed by different companies, and Lake Forest's owners have slowly been talking with the city of Gaithersburg on probable redevelopment plans. The mall space itself, excluding the anchors who own their own spaces, isn't very big. Roughly 522,500 square feet out of the total 1,045,000 square feet of leasable space is available to inline tenants. The mall is also lacking two anchors, the J.C. Penney, which shuttered indefinitely on July 5th, 2019, and Lord & Taylor, which closed on September 15th of the same year. The two remaining anchors at the time of video production are Sears, who closes before the end of this year, and Macy's. When I was walking through the Pennies, it looked a lot more modern than the rest of the mall. The mall to me seemed like it was still very much stuck in its outdated 1978 style, although it's still missing some of the aesthetics that it had when it first opened. Inline tenants were scattered, and whether you found one that you could recognize or not was a pure game of chance. Now, a lot of the inline tenants that are to be still seen are closer to center court than any of the anchors. I would assume it's because most of the anchors are going to be gone if they're not already gone. Half of them have closed, one more is on its way out. I'm surprised Macy's is sticking around. But at least one of the good parts going up to each anchor were there were these interesting column statues around to look at. They, they're hard to and capture in one shot, but they look really nice, and I guess they match the almost industrial aesthetic that I caught walking around the mall. Now, of course, when I was walking through the mall, I did wonder, why does Lake Forest exist? What makes it special to someone like me? Of course, the first question is chalked up to a land developer seeing growth in Gaithersburg and saying, a retail center is what the area needs. It was meant to be what all malls are meant to be. A centralized place where people could shop, hang out, and in the bigger picture, be part of the community. As for the second question, I look at Lake Forest from two perspectives. As a novice video creator, crazy about retail history, as well as a teenage consumer. From the first perspective, Lake Forest is definitely a neat mall that tries to do what it can. It was built with a lot more of the mall aesthetics that I love to find, but some have since been stripped, like the earlier mentioned Center Court Fountain. It's no premier shopping center like the management touts on the website, but it's not the mall's fault. Lake Forest was built in a heavily saturated retail area. That leads into my perspective as a teenage consumer, as I wasn't really struck by anything interesting. It didn't seem like the current mall owners or management cared very much to try to make the mall stand out. There aren't many stores that cater to me. And, of course, the outdated aesthetics wouldn't appeal to a normal teenage consumer either. I know a lot of adults think that us teenagers don't care to go to the mall and would rather just shop online all the time, but that's generalizing an entire generation. There are those of us, and we do come in numbers, that love to go to the mall and hang out like older generations did. We will shop there. We'll hang out. But just not at malls that look like Lake Forest. Lake Forest just can't really appeal to us. There's no stores. It doesn't look like it was meant for us to be there. And since neither the mall manager or owners seem to care about marketing the place towards teenagers, 
they're not going to come. But I guess that's all right, since they would rather redevelop them all and see whether they can turn it into anything else. About the point of Lake Forest being in a heavily saturated retail area, there were originally three or four malls within the area Lake Forest was trying to cater to. There is, of course, Lake Forest, the Montgomery Mall, now the Westfield Montgomery, Wheaton, now the Westfield Wheaton, and White Flint, which no longer has a physical existence with the exception of the Lord and Taylor location. Even with how big Montgomery County is, there's still no way that four malls could compete each other and all survive. The first to go was White Flint, and now Lake Forest is following suit. But no one really seems to care about Lake Forest anymore. It's alright, because the mall was there, it did its purpose, and then struggles amounted. Lower class malls just can't keep up with the times, and they'll fall away. When people want to go shopping, they'll go to nicer shopping centers. That's how the nicer ones survive, and then ones like Lake Forest just seem to disappear into the dust. So my final thoughts for this mall, as small, quirky, and outdated as it is, it was fun to visit. It was a great thing to see. And while it does look depressing, you should visit it while you can. That way you haven't missed this mall if you're into re retail history and stuff like that before it closes. We don't know when it'll close, and so it's a rough gamble to want to skip until the final days, because stores announce their final days before the mall ever will. One more final thing is my message to the mall. Dear Lake Forest, you did what you could. You're trying to survive, and it's not working out for you. Redevelopment's in the cards, three anchors given up, people just can't seem to deal with your existence anymore. It's okay, there's always a time something like you will be forgotten. There will also be people who will also appreciate you, always appreciate you. No matter how quirky, old, outdated, depressing most people find you. Thank you for watching the video, and be sure to like, or comment, subscribe, and who knows what the next video will be in this wonderful exploration of malls. I'll see you guys next time at another mall that really could use more attention than most people give it. and changed colors. Who's that light?